This is an extremely important lesson. The information that you're going to gather in this question is vital. Many students do struggle with these kind of questions because they are very difficult to interpret. But please stick around and allow me to do my best to explain how it works. And I'm sure it's going to make a lot more sense. So in the previous video, we looked at a nature of root question where we didn't really make use of the graph. But there are going to be situations where we are going to have to use the graph, and this is going to be one of them. So let's see what we have here. We have a parabola where they've given us the equation, and then it says determine the value of k, which is over here, so that the roots are real, but with the same sign. Okay, you see, so we, c we know that for real roots, if you watched the previous video, we know that that means b squared minus 4ac has to be 0, or anything positive so we would do this but that isn't gonna help us to determine whether they have the same sign or not but let's go ahead and do that anyways because it part of that is gonna be correct but then we'll just have to modify our answer so we're gonna take the minus x squared minus 2x plus 15 we can bring the k over to the left hand side and we're gonna make that whole thing oh for now we'll just make that equal to 0 and then a is gonna be this part B is going to be that, and then everything else is going to be C. Now we want to make B squared minus 4AC bigger than or equal to 0. So we're going to take B squared, which is going to be negative 2, and we're going to square that, minus 4, A is minus 1, and then C is 15 minus K, and we want that to be bigger than or equal to 0. Then going to simplify, so that becomes 4 plus 4, 15 minus K, bigger than or equal to 0 can then multiply the 4 in and that's going to give us 60 minus 4k bigger than or equal to 0. I'm going to take the 4k over to the right hand side and that's going to give us 64. So k must be bigger than or equal to 16. Okay, so if k is, I mean k is smaller than or equal to 16. So if k is smaller than or equal to 16, then it means that the roots are real. Okay, now I need to explain quite a bit. What we need to look at is where k was in the very beginning. k was over here. Now what letter do we usually have over there? Well, that's usually f of x, or we also know that f of x is the y. Okay, so k is a y value. Now if I asked you to draw the line y equals to 2 on a graph, we all know that that is a horizontal line. But if I said x equals to 2, then it would be vertical. But we're not looking at that. Okay, so if I draw the line y equals to 2, how many places does it cut the graph? Well, it cuts at 1 and 2 places. Those places where it's cutting, those are called roots. Okay, so we can see there that we've just had 2 unequal. Why do I say unequal? Because the x values are different for both of them. 2 unequal roots. Okay, but they are real. Real means that we can see them. If we had to draw a line at y equals to 4, well, that would go somewhere over here, and that also cuts it twice. If we had to go somewhere down here, that would also cut it twice. So you see there is going to be a limit as to what k can be, because as soon as we start getting towards the top here, that's still fine. But all of a sudden, if we go too far, how many times, if we do this top line, how many times does it cut the graph? It doesn't cut the graph, so we call that non-real. Okay, so k, they told us that k must be any number that is less than or equal to 16. So I'm guessing that this y value up at the top here is most likely 16. Let's quickly confirm that. We know that that's the turning point. So we can find the turning point of this equation by using negative b over 2a. And so negative b is going to be minus minus 2 over 2a. Well, that's 2 times minus 1. And so that's going to give us minus 1. We then substitute minus 1 into the original equation to see what the y value is of that turning point. Plus 15, and so that's going to give us minus 1 plus 2 plus 15, and that gives us 16. Okay, so y cannot be anything more than 16, otherwise the roots are non-real, meaning that they don't exist. Now what we can do is we can look at their part where they say are real, but with the same sign. So for example, if I draw a line going across here, this root will be negative because it's got a negative x value. This one is positive. If I go over here, this one is negative and this one is, oh no, sorry, this one's negative, this one's positive. 
So we're looking for that small little area where both of them would have the same sign. If I keep going downwards, the roots are always different. So this one's positive, this one's negative. This one's positive, this one's negative. But if you look at this tiny little piece up at the top here, any line that goes across between the turning point and between this line that I've just drawn, it will cut the graph on the same side. So let me quickly enlarge what I'm saying there. So if we have this over here, where we've got the y-axis going down like that, then if I draw a horizontal line going over there, then it cuts the graph there and there. And both of those are on the left of the graph, okay? So they both have negative x values, which means that they have the same sign. As soon as I go underneath this y-intercept, then all of a sudden I get two roots, but one of them is on the positive x-axis and one of them is on the negative x-axis, so they have different signs. So we're wanting both of them to either be on the left or we're wanting both of them to either be on the right. So the only place that it's going to happen for us is going to be this little area up here. Let me just do that in a different color. Up here. So we would like k to be anything that is between the y-intercept, which is this point over here, and the turning point. So we need to quickly find the y-intercept. How do we do that? You make x0, and if you did that, you'd get 15. So we would like k to be anything bigger than 15 and smaller than or equal to 16. We can include 16 because at 16, those two roots are going to be the same. And so that is your answer over there. So whenever you get a question where they say real, that can be just solved, that can be solved mathematically. But when they say with the same sign, then you've got to start being careful because then you're going to have to make use of the graph. If you wanted the roots to be real but with different signs, well then you would be interested in all of this beneath here. Because let me show you, if we look at this first line, let's say this is y equals to 7, it's got two roots. One of them is over here. Now that x value, let's say that x value is probably like 1, and this x value over here is maybe minus 2. The point is, is that the two signs of those roots are different. Now if we look down here, maybe at about y equals to 2, here the x value is about 1.5, and here the x value is about minus 3. The point is, is that they all have they have different signs. So I hope you can really see what they mean when they say having the same sign.